put all um, thermal pads back and yeah don't look at my thermal pads because I used them I'm sure more than 10 times <laughs> but they're still great and it's enough okay just put all back and let it close again so now you do the thermal test over the chip yeah. make it clean make it perfectly because uh, you don't do this for nothing you know so when we open it right then we do all the rest also right or you can let it like it was before that all so guys it should look like this yeah that's clean everywhere the thermal pass and uh, at last like always you can put at the middle of the chip now a small ball so and yeah <laughs> that's more than enough not too much and yeah now let's put together and then we will test so put here again just a little bit at yes just a small small little bit because at the chip you should put more and then you can close it all with this what we have done or the, uh, better let's say better what i have done <laughs> this brings you about 10 degrees better performance we can say we uh, we can talk here about uh, yeah uh, surely six degrees and uh, yes your chip will have longer life this way but uh, don't forget that you lose warranty and you do this all at your own risk so guys before you close all don't forget to uh, Put again back the this quadrat, you know this quadrat, this um, stable uh, aluminium thing, and yeah, close it very good. Don't forget to do it. We don't need that normally, but it's better when you have it. So guys, all finished and all closed. Gonna put it back, do some temp tests, and that you can see and compare with our cards. I have not done uh, the tests with the temperature before. I forgot. Because I wanted to open this so fast as I can because yeah, I love to move that shit <laughs> and to do that better like it was before. Okay guys, let's check it out. So guys, I must say I'm really happy and uh, like you can see here, this is uh, the 8800 Ultra, Ultra and uh, here you can see the it's all at standard. And now let's go here at sensors, now you can see here the temps. And like you can see, it's about 65, 66. And uh, this temps I had uh, before I did that mood I had here, but uh, with 70 and or sometimes also with 75% fan speed. You see. So now the fan speed is at uh, default. We can say now it's all at automatic. I don't need any tools more to get my fan up. Because now, uh, yes, I'm happy with the times. It's not that much, but it's uh, about five or six degrees uh, better. And uh, this times I had only when I pushed the fan speed up. Yeah, now I'm gonna uh, make uh, um, a bench with um, with Heaven Unigine Heaven. It's a great bench, and I will do that and. Uh, Come back to desktop quickly to that you can see the temps. So guys, uh, I've just finished it with benching. Now let's close. Let's get out here. So here you can see um, the temps was at max. Uh, uh, what I saw, I see um, 80. Wait, wait, wait. 87 degrees. And I think that's really ac acceptable. Let me just focus. So let's see again. So the highest was 80, 
86, 87. And uh, yes, I'm really happy because this was uh, at Crisis or at, yeah, let's say three, four hours playing Crisis was about um, 93 degrees. And here this was benching a, a lot now and uh, I'm really happy with this uh, temps now. It's not that much, but um, 87 or 93 is really great now. Okay guys, and uh, yes, false sync was on, but uh, at NVIDIA panel, so here uh, false sync so or so is uh, automatically always on. Okay, so it was really great, if you like, guys want to do that, just keep in mind that you have a lot to lose if you don't know what, what you're doing. Okay, goodbye, see ya!